The analysis profit in high volatility versus low volatility shows your average trading performance during market environment of high volatility and low volatility. The Hawktree Analytics tool measures continuously the volatility of the underlying markets and measures your trade opening time to the volatility level observed in the market at this point. Of course, volatility is required in the market for any trade to either make profit or loss. However, high volatility can also impose risk, which new or not so experienced traders might have difficulty handling. Volatility for a trader can be compared to the wind for a windsurfer. Without wind, no one will be surfing in the sea or on the lake. With only a little wind, it is the perfect condition for new windsurfers to try standing on the board, making a few meters. However, don't run into risk or putting themselves into danger because of being driven too far outside or creating too much speed. Experienced and professional windsurfer wouldn't get onto the water during those conditions though, because it wouldn't be any fun for them. If there's much more wind, experienced surfers come onto the water, enjoying the wind and showing their skills. For very beginners, their coach probably says that it would be too dangerous now going into the water. During storms, only the very professional get out into the waters, really showing their full skill level. Nevertheless, they still need to be protected by life vests and speedboats around. What the wind is for the surfer, that is volatility for the traders. During low volatility, new traders can practice their skills, while experienced and professional traders will mostly stay at the sideline and don't trade. However, during high volatility, new traders have high risk to lose money, while the experienced and professional traders are happily making some bucks. During extreme volatility, only the best traders are active. However, always protected by stop loss and strict risk and money management. The higher the volatility is in the market, the less time a trader has to make decision and the faster a position is in deep loss or high profit. If we do not have time to make a decision, we usually act out of intuition. Unfortunately, basic human intuition is not always the best decision maker in trading. We may intuitively move the stop loss further away not to be hit by the trade, creating higher risk to our account. We may intuitively close the position as soon as it is a little in profit, missing on all the further profit that the position could have made. Intuitively, we usually do not set the right profit or loss levels. Only if all those rational and profit-creating decision-making has been internalized based on hundreds and thousands of trades, reviews, and self-optimization, they may become intuitive for a trader and can be done without much time effort. Keeping the effect of volatility on our trading in mind, let's have a look on the chart of the analysis profit during high versus low volatility. Again, at the chart, we see that the trader makes a minor profit of 0.1 pips per trade on average during times with high volatility, which is certainly a good sign already. During market environment of low volatility, however, the trader made a profit of 2 pips on average per trade, considerably outperforming the performance during high volatility. Moving with the cursor of the bar, one can see that the trader performed 1,062 trades during low volatility with a total payoff of a bit more than 9,000 USD. While out of 438 trades during high volatility, the trader only made around 440 USD. Similar to the view in PIPs, we can also observe the return in percentage view. Here, showing similar picture. This means the trader did not use considerably different loss size during trades with high versus low volatility. As I have described beforehand, experienced and professional traders oftentimes seek volatility for their trading. You can check your long-term performance against your more recent performance by viewing short-term timeframes of the analysis. 
during the last three months, this trader shows an average profit of 0.6 pips during high volatility and 1.3 pips during low volatility. Apparently, the trader increased his or her performance during high volatility, possibly through further practice. Nevertheless, the average performance of the trader is still better during times with low volatility. It can be a very important input to your trading review to see how you perform during times of high or low volatility. If you perform worse during high volatility, you may want to focus on times with less action in the market. Volatility is often time driven by news many participants in the market, for example, during times with many major financial markets being actively trading or also by the currency pair you are trading. For news, you may want to check the economic calendar, which lists most of the anticipated major news to be released on this day regarding major forex markets. For your performance during different times of the day, we have a dedicated analysis of profit by daytime you may want to use to better understand your performance during certain times of the day which may well be interlinked with the underlying volatility during these times. The same applies to the trading instrument. Some currency pairs, crypto or commodity show higher amplitudes on a regular basis. Additional information you can also receive from us is the dedicated analysis on profit by symbol. In case you show a loss during times of high volatility, you may also want to consider to lower your loss size during times with high volatility in order to limit your losses. With high volatility in the market, tight stop loss will be hit easily, as the market oftentimes fluctuates in both directions quite a bit. With a lower lot size, you may be able to set wider stop loss and take profit without increasing the risk of the trade. Again, as with all analysis, if you completely stop to trade during certain times based on the output of your analysis, this may have strong implications on your overall trading, also influencing other areas. Therefore, oftentimes a step-by-step -step approach is more desirable for a trader to choose. If you seek to observe the volatility directly in the chart, you may also consider support by using certain indicators. The Bollinger Bands, for example, are one of the volatility indicators oftentimes used. It is based on a simple moving average and lines two standard deviations away from the simple moving average. In case you do have a significant loss-making pattern during high or low volatility, you may choose to receive a notification from us warning that you have just entered a trade during a market condition which on average yields you a loss in your trades. Trading can be very demanding and a little technical support may actually help to free your mind and focus better.